In Norman, Oklahoma has defeated the University of Tulsa 3-0 in the decisive game of this regional. Bruce Howard along with the head coach of the Golden Hurricane, John Barfeld. And uh, disappointing, certainly, but you, you cannot downgrade how great your team played for you all year long and what a super season it was. Yeah, they did. And, you know, it is disappointing, and, um, you know, we fought to the very end, and that's, uh, you know, indicative of this team. That's what they've done all year. Um, you know, for most of the year, we've come up with some big clutch hits, and we just didn't get that clutch hit today. I was going to say, you out hit uh, OU, and yet just couldn't get the key one to, to drive some runs across, right? Right. You know, some of our, our hits, you know, came after there was one or two outs, and so you're pretty limited on what you can do at that point. Um, but uh, you're right. We did out hit them. Uh, I think with the first time we came here, um, we may have got one or two hits off of Paige Parker. So we made some adjustments and did a better job. But uh, in the end, uh, you know, we, we lived all season on the clutch hits and the pitching and the defense and uh, we just came up a little short today. Emily Watson's first pitch of the game was head out of the ballpark, but I thought after that she really knuckled down and gave you a chance. Yeah, I was a little bit worried, you know, walked the second hitter and then I'm thinking, oh, no, you know. But uh, you're right, she settled down and, and uh, you know, pitched very well. And, you know, what's so tough about this team is that if you make a mistake in the wrong place, they can hit it out of the ballpark, you know, one, almost one through nine. Probably there's probably eight hitters in the lineup that can do that, and that's kind of what happened today. Do you look at this as another step for your team, having a chance in the winner's bracket as, as winning first uh, the first two games for the first time in the program's career? Well, yeah, you know, but, you know, we've been to the final game before and, you know, we just got to try to find a way to get over that hump, I guess. But, uh, you know, you're playing such good teams and you're playing against a crowd that's, you know, just everybody practically in the whole stadiums against you. And, you know, we I thought we handled it real well. Um, but, uh, you, you know, they got on a roll. You got to get credit to them that they came through with an awful lot of pressure softball. and. And, uh, you know, we did too. You know, you can't forget how we won two games this, this uh, tournament. We win, them, we win two games in the last inning. And so, hey, I can't be more proud of this team on the way that they just would fight and come up with clutch hits and come up with, you know, defensive plays. Uh, and even today pitching, Emily gets behind 3-0, and the next thing you know, she's striking out a hitter. And so um, that's, that's what we're looking for, you know, to continue on in the future. I was going to say, proves how tough it is to win a regional, right? Oh, definitely. I mean, you got the top 16 teams in the country, so no matter where you go, and then you're always playing on their home field. So, you know, we're, we just have to, you know, I said at the beginning of the, of the tournament, somebody asked me, what does it take? And the first word out of my mouth is luck. You know, you got to have luck. And, you know, we got some luck early. And then, you know, late in the last two games, we just, the luck didn't fall our way. Coach, congratulations on a great year. All right. Thank you, Bruce. Head coach John Barafeld, University of Tulsa's TU concludes their season here in the Norman Regional.